This exhibit at Michigan State University's Abrams Planetarium features pieces of all 11 known meteorites that have been found in the state. The exhibit asks Michiganders to think about our own place in the solar system by just looking up. The first thing guests see upon entering the exhibit is a collection of meteorites from all around the state. We have a sample from every single one, uh, which we're really proud of. The meteorites come from Seneca Township, Allegan, Washtenaw County, Livingston County, Grand Rapids, Reed City, Mount Calm County, Midland County, Kalkaska County, Ogama County, and Iron County. Ultimately, a lot of astronomy is intangible. It's about things that are really far away. Uh, whereas meteorites are one of the few tangible things that we really have in astronomy. And because these are ones that have, found, uh, have been found here in our home state, that gives us that personal connection to help us see how we are directly tied to the solar system through where we live. Each meteorite in the collection tells a story, both about Michigan and outer space. Because in early 1939, there was a large meteor that went over Michigan into Ontario, Canada, that rattled the windows as far south as Lansing. So, um, yeah, it kind of holds a special place. In addition to Michigan meteorites, the collection features finds from all over the world. How about the exhibit here? Uh, probably one of the largest uh, meteor strikes in recent memory is the Chelyabinsk Oblast Russian fall of February 15th, 2013. But how did a meteorite from Russia get to East Lansing? There are meteorite hunters who go out there and look. And uh, these meteorite hunters pick up their airline tickets right away and have a flight. Uh, they probably already have people inside of Russia that they can meet with, who have probably already collected some stones and purchased them from the locals. And then they enter the market from there for both uh, scientific reasons, for collectors, for institutions, and things like that. Craig Whitford, a volunteer meteorite collection coordinator, donated some of his own collection to the exhibit, including that meteorite from Russia, which he obtained from one of those meteorite hunters. Visitors can even touch certain meteorites in the exhibit. You know, this allows the opportunity for them to touch a tangible piece of space, because the generation that's coming up now may be the ones that are mining the asteroids in the future, um, finding the solutions for what's happening here on Earth. The display opened last month and will become a permanent exhibit in the planetarium. And, and so this is our own little personal piece of the solar system that, that we get to appreciate here um, at the planetarium. From the Abrams Planetarium at Michigan State University, I'm Margaret Cahill reporting Fox 47 News.